concept man it's a rainy day out there depressing but uh we're gonna play and play and practice okay so what about this concept people are always asking me about this whole uh, pick fingers thing because i'm constantly switching back and forth between the two right like even just in that stuff I was just playing, it's like a, it's it's like a constant. In the even in the middle of licks, I switch back and forth. Like I'll be playing with the pick, and now it's gone. That's fingers. The pick is being hidden right there. See it? Some people thought it was magic. It's not magic. It's just that. So I put the pick without even thinking. I, I didn't even realize I was doing that until recently. Like I, somebody pointed it out and I was like, wow, okay, weird. But um, I just, depending on what the lick is and where I'm at in the song and what kind of sound I want to get, I just flip it back and forth. Like I'm sub, just totally like subconsciously. <laughs> when I want the thing to be like more round sounding I'll get rid of the pick when I want it to be sharp sometimes I'll use both fingers and pick where I choose an open string just to have it be a drone over all the riffs I'm playing beneath it I talk about that a lot in lessons that I give people, which isn't very often, but I do it once in a while. But anyway, let's just let's just say, for example, you wanted to spice up some blues and uh, C sharp, pentatonic blues, right? What if you took your what's that fourth finger? This one, not the little one, the one next to it, and you played the open B string every single time you played a note in your C sharp pentatonic. Constant dominant seven bringing over the whole thing. 
pretty sick, right? <laughs> think about how you're hiding the pick here you, you know that's not good you just got to do it naturally just go from playing with it to hiding it i guess that's just years of doing it but anyway you can do it stay safe everybody weird times <laughs>